Yesterday night around 7.25 p.m., our colleagues from the Laval Police Force received call from this restaurant uh, behind me regarding what looks like gunshots inside, so immediately they ran to the scene. A scary night for many at a Laval restaurant on Wednesday and a bloody scene still visible on Thursday morning. A 42-year-old man shot dead as he ate at La Perle Vietnamienne on the Laurentides in the Vimont district. District. A suspect entered the restaurant, went straight for the man, witnesses say, and shot him, then fled the scene on foot, they say. Sûreté du Québec identified the victim as Bernard Cherfin with ties to organized crime. He had previously survived an attempt on his life in 2015. Unfortunately, on site, they found a man of 42 years old with major injuries. He was transported to a nearby hospital where he was declared dead. So immediately, Laval investigator began to investigate the scene in the surroundings area, and it was leading us to think that this murder was related to organized crime. So this is the reason why they transferred the investigation to the Sûreté du Québec. Uh, it's the crime against the person unit who have the expertise to investigate a murder related to organized crime especially with the strategic centaur that we heard uh, about because it's related to uh, a firearm. Cherfin is said to have been eating with three others who also fled the scene when the shooting happened. Many customers, including families with children and staff, were all inside at the time. It was a busy restaurant. People took cover under tables. The SQ was not able to provide a physical description of the suspect. Authorities were still on the scene Thursday morning. Plates of food, blood, and what the event left was still visible. Some customers returning to pick up their vehicles as they left the scene Wednesday night without them when police cordoned off the area amid their initial investigation. A command post was set up to gather information from anyone with any knowledge of the case. In Laval, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.